This is Home Educate Family. We're going to talk about spelling you see. Okay, we just did one for Jaren's younger sister with um, B, Jack and Jill, but this is C, Wild Tales. And really quick, if you didn't watch B, I really like this quote that they have in here. And just talking about the philosophy of why they do spelling the way they do. Those who set out to remember every letter of every word will never make it. Those who try to spell by sound alone will be defeated. And it goes on to say that they're, um, notice the child learning to see patterns in English will help them spell English words better. So again, it talks about the five developmental stages of spelling. And this book, um, this level is definitely in the skill building section and past the phonics. So their placement guides for wild tales is for a student who knows all the letter sounds and spells many common words correctly and is very comfortable with reading. Um, and that's definitely Jaren. And Jaren probably could have done the next one, which would have been D. Uh, and that is for proficient readers who are, with, are gradually improving their spelling skills. But I wanted him to be comfortable before we moved on to stuff that may be a little bit more difficult. Um, so first lesson is vowel chunks, then more vowel chunks, then consonant chunks, and it continues on getting more and more skills as they move through the books. Um, it has a dictation section, um, which I kind of just skipped because this section has the same words and I might as well just mark one for our day. But anyway, um, so along with, Jaron will show you his book, but along with them just learning to spell, they're marking certain things with certain colors. So as they're, here we have tricky Y guy, then silent letter, then vowel chunks, and we just add it and add and learn more until this is what their papers will look like. It's just kind of crazy. Um, and I'm really glad they have this guide in here so I don't have to think about it and I could just check it really quick. All right, so if this looks crazy, it's really not that hard. It's not that difficult. So I'll let Jaron start and, and introduce you to this, his book here, The Wild Tales. Okay, so what you do here, it's, um, it's a rhyme, Little Boy Blue. And then, so you look up here and it says, read the rhyme with your student. Say it together and clap and rhyme. So that means you, you point, the student points, and you clap, and then you sing together. And then read it together slowly. Have the student point to each word you read. Pretty much the same thing as up here. Um, so it says you're supposed to do the vowel chunks here, and you're supposed to write and circle them in yellow. And then... It, and this is all we, Monday. This yeah. is what you do on Monday this and is all, as well as this page here. Yeah. So then so then you do you just copy all of these yeah. lines. Copy work. And then it's still the same thing as Monday, but Tuesday. Same thing as Tuesday and Thursday, but it's Wednesday. But here on Thursday there is Thing where you still do the vowel chunks, but you can you can draw the poem or just a, make a picture, or you could just do one of them, but it doesn't matter. And then the next day, you still do the vowel chunks like every other day, but then you come here. And it has the starting words of every sentence. And then the teacher will read the sentence and they will write it down. And you can see how many words it will spell. And you, right. you do want to cover this up while they do dictation. Yes, or because the answers are just right there. Okay, and that's pretty much how this whole book is set out. 
So then this one you'll do bossy R and consonant chunks. Yes. So it just starts adding. And then here's kind of what week 31 would look like. Yes, so you have to do bossy R chunks, vowel chunks, endings, and consonant chunks. So you do those and then you're supposed to fall. You're supposed Copy to work. Copy. Same Again. thing on Tuesday, same thing on Wednesday, and on Thursday, we still do this, but you, um, so, I don't, I don't This know. is no rules day. Yeah, no rules day. And it says, and write your own sentences about sea otters. And here's some words already spelled out for you at the top there to help you. So then, it's the same thing. Here's Friday. And then you turn the and page. Here it is. You just have the starting word, and then the teacher will help you, and they will, and they will say the whole sentence, and then they will write it down. Okay. So what do you think of spelling UC? I like it because it's easier than most things, and you get to have fun with it too.